Hey guys, this is Wilson Harwood. Um, I'm going to show you how to change your banjo strings. So first thing you want to do here is loosen up the fifth string. I like to go from the fifth string down to the high D string here. So just kind of twist it as fast as you can and then you can just pull it out. And my banjo here has a little flap. You lift that thing up. It's always good to check to make sure how it was aligned through the uh, tailpiece and over the bridge so you can do it again um, when you restring it. If you look in here, most banjos have little hooks that you put the loop through. So I'm going to show you how to do that first. Uh, my latest choice is a GHS almost medium banjo string. So I wish they were giving me money to say that. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure you're putting on the right string so they're always in order when they come out of the pack. Um, you have the ten and a half on one end, ten and a half on the other, so those are your two highest strings, the G and the D. And then you also have the twenty, which is going to be your lowest D string. So I put them upside down because I'm going um, from the high G down. And just open up the pack here, they're wound up, just kind of undo that. Take the loop end right here, and we're going to put it in around that loop right there. I know you can't see this right now, but as long as you get the concept, it's pretty basic. And then I'm going to wrap that underneath the tailpiece there, like it was when I took it off. Pull it through here, and then there's going to be a little nut right here for the fifth string, and I'm just going to slide the fifth string through and I like to leave a little bit of slack just so I can make sure I get like you know about two to three winds uh, around the string there so if you can see that you know there's a little bit of a bow in the string that's probably more than enough right there and then I like to keep my thumb placed on the string and that'll keep it taut while I tighten it and I'm gonna always wind it so that the string goes from around the outs inside towards the outside. And this is another thing where when you're taking off your strings, you can look up at the, the tail piece up or uh, head piece up there. Notice how the strings are wound so that when you do it again, you'll get it right. And this is the crucial part. I like to go underneath. So if you look right here, I'm going to go underneath the string to start with. One loop around so you can see that. Oh, this banjo's heavy. And then, once that gets all the way underneath the string that was is being wound, I'm going to push it up like that and that'll make it go over top the rest of the times. And from then on, I can just not even worry about it. I know it's going to go over top because I pushed it up. And, oh, that's heavy. I'm going to have to rearrange here. I think this is like a 20-pound banjo. Um, so I'm just going to keep winding that up. And as I'm winding it, until it gets taut, I won't really worry. Uh, once it starts to tighten up, that's when I actually pluck it. And I just get it about there. And then I leave a little bit at the end until I'm fully done changing all the strings. And that way I don't have to worry about tuning, because a lot of times what you'll do is you'll tune it too much and break a string. I'm going to show you now how to change um, one of the strings on the actual head sock, not just the fifth string here. So I'm going to do my last high D string. And I'm just going to unravel these again. Put it through that loop in the back here, just like I did before. And like I said, just make sure you know how your tailpiece works. They're all a little bit different, but slide it in the groove, over the bridge, and then down to the end. And then it doesn't have to sit uh, in the groove on the nut there just right yet. As I, I'm just going to slide it through. And once again, I don't want to pull it all the way, so I can actually get a few turns in there, so I keep it kind of taut. I put my thumb down there to start with so that I can wrap it. And this is where it gets a little tricky. I'm going to try and show you this as best I can. So I'm going to keep it t going under, but I'm going to have to let it kind of force it underneath there. And what the string is going to want to do is it's going to want to flip back over. So I'm just going to 
try and make sure that it doesn't get too stubborn there and try and slip. This one's actually being pretty good. So I got it around once, it went underneath that string one time. So I'm going to clip it up like that, push it up so that it will go over top. And keeping my thumb here is great because it just keeps that tension even though the rest of the string is really loose. And now I just kind of wind it. I'm going to try and wind it as fast as I can. This one I might have given a little bit too much uh, slack to begin with, but eh, never hurts to wind it too many times. It doesn't matter too much how beautiful your wind job is. Uh, sometimes I get better ones than others. Some people might be a stickler about that, trying to get it to look really nice. But really, as long as it winds a couple times, that's all you need. So now I can let my thumb go. And I'm just going to leave it there. Alright, so I'm going to use uh, my tuner here. Um, and just stick it on the end of the banjo. Always good to use a tuner when you're tuning instead of using your ear. Unless you have perfect pitch. So I'm just going to bring this all the way up to pitch. Up to a G. Maybe even a little bit past the G. And then, this is the part that I think a lot of people don't even realize they can do, is you can actually kind of yank on the string. And this will pull any tension out of the string that might have been there. So let's just see. That dropped it down almost a half a step there. Um, it's a great thing to do for each of these. So I'm going to tune the D. You can hear it kind of cracking and stuff. That's normal. Tune that to about an E. And then I'm just going to pull on it, like I said, all the way up and down the neck. Don't worry about pulling too lightly. It can take a lot. And then, yep, that got a good amount of tension out. Just drop that down to a D. Do the same thing for my G string. It's normal to have those cracks and squeaks. Let's get it up to about a G. Remember, this is just a rough tune. doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just pulling through like that. So the banjo will tend to slide uh, out of tune with new strings, so you want to play it as much as you can.